Hey, welcome, welcome back to Ep Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, the walkthrough. This is episode 32. Hey, wait, Sonic, what are you doing? Hey, I'm just doing the intro this time, since we don't know what happened to Blade after he fought against Dark Matter. Oh, yeah, right. After what happened last time, we Blade destroyed Dark Matter and freed us all from stone. And the Dark War is finally over. So we're gonna go on and see what happened to Blade. Hopefully he's okay. Final chapter. An end to beginnings. They're here. They made it. Where are we? Huh? Isn't this... Blade! Blade! Oh no! Blade! Well, wake up! Hurry, please! Wait. Can't be. He's not moving! Blade, don't go! No, no, please! Don't go into the light, Blade! Oh, ow. Does anybody check a pulse anymore? Oh, you're okay. Yee. Blade, thank goodness. You had me worried there. Fennekin. But where are we? Just look, Blade. What? <gasps> is that? What is it? <gasps> That's gotta be... Could it be? It's gotta be! It's the Tree of Life! The Tree of Life! It's, it really is the Tree of Life! We've only seen it withered and dying was well, hard to recognize, but that's gotta be how the Tree of Life is supposed to look. I never imagined, you guys, it would be so beautiful. Pretty spiffy, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Look at all the different colors! This is the way it should be, I'm sure of it. Oh, what's that? It's coming right at us! What? What is it? Uh, it looks like... <gasps> what is that? Some kind of deer Pokemon? That's no ordinary deer. Somebody popped out of the light! Who are you? I am Xerneas. I am the Tree of Life. You are the Tree of Life? Yes. The Tree of Life made me incarnate. This is Primeval Forest. As you can see, the Tree of Life has been revived. It's all due to the actions of you two. Then what happened to Dark Matter? What happened to him? It is gone. Its darkness did not fall into this world. It finally found peace. It turned into a gentle light, which faded into nothingness. As a result, this world is no longer being drawn into the sun. The Pokemon world is cleansed of, of dark aura. And that means... Yes. The world has been saved. The wor old war of dark aura is over. By you two. We thank you. Blade! I know, Fennekin! We did it! We really did it! Ha <laughs> yeah! We did it! And again, Blade, watch out! Huh? Ah! <coughs> oh! Oh. Owie, owie, ow. Seriously, I told you to slow it down. What did you think that would happen at that speed? Jirachi and Celebi, too. I just couldn't wait to give you and Fennekin a big ol' hug. Well, it may have underestimated my speed up just a bit, but it's fine. Because you did it, Fennekin and Blade. You two are amazing. I, I wasn't really sure you'd be able to do it, to be honest, but you really did it. Thanks, Jirachi and Celebi. But how did you even know? Arceus told everyone what happened. What? Oh, Arceus did? Yeah. He sent a message to all of the Pokemon in the world. He said that the planet was safe now. 
The darkness that had been covering the world has been swept away, and the sun is back to the way it should be. Everyone is ecstatic and celebrating. I had no idea. Actually, you come to think of it, back in the kingdoms, they're all having fireworks displays. We should be there too at some point. Well, now you do. We all had no ideas. And that's why I was so happy I just wanted to grab you and squeeze until you- Whoa! Huh? Why did you dodge? Because you always go too fast, Jirachi. It would hurt to be hit at that speed. <laughs> and that wasn't a hug, that was a body slam. Really? Yeah, I'm glad you're happy and all, but I don't think I need a body slam to prove it. Ah! Ooh. Eh. Huh. That's curious. I was just about to envelop Fennekin in my fond embrace, but Fennekin seems to have disappeared. Uh... Ampharos? Ah! If it isn't my blade! Wait, no! Oh! <laughs> now blade has disappeared as well. Perhaps you should look behind you, Ampharos. Esper! Blade, you did it! I imagine it was no easy thing to defeat Dark Matter as you did, but you protected our world. You did a fine job, but where is Fennekin? Did Fennekin go somewhere? <laughs> Behind you, Ampharos. Oh, what are you doing skulking back there? Was the battle that exhausting? No, I believe it's only because you ran into Fennekin not so long ago. What? More? You really never know where you're going, or where you're going, do you? Never mind, I'll manage to barrel someone over and just keep on walking. Wow. Fennekin, forgive me. I am for my most sincere but apologies. Are you alright? Yeah, I'll survive. I was just playing dead so you wouldn't hit me again. But we're back, Chief. <laughs> and you did a fine job, Fennekin. You you two and be Dark Matter. Thanks, Frost. <laughs> this is pretty nice. What is it? <laughs> oh, really? Give an inch and some people will take a mile, huh? You do remember it was only because of our efforts that the Tree of Life was stopped from flying right off the planet, right? No, I won't forget that. It was thanks to you all that this world was safe. That's why everyone's so happy right now. So you just keep pouring it on. We saved the whole world! It's amazing. Do you know how amazing it is? Uh, should we tell... Should we tell them? I don't think so. Do you, Blade? I guess we should be praising you a bit more too, huh? Uh, me? Uh, I don't think I'm really... <laughs> Looks like Blade is not as accustomed to all the attention. Uh, guys, really, it's no big deal. I'm not that fond of Fennekin's preening, but I am glad. I'm so very glad that you both made it back. Esper. Huh? That's... is that the expedition gadget ringing? But if that's ringing, does that mean... Can anyone hear me? Dedene? Is that you, Dedene? Anakin? You alright then? Thank the stars! And Blade, what about Blade? Alive and kicking, right here with us. We're all in pre medieval forest right now. Oh, Chief! Yes, your hard-working Chief is here, as is Jirachi. We're all okay. Forget him, Dedene. If you're calling us like this, then... That's right, I'm not turned to stone anymore. Everyone that explored the prehistoric ruins is back to normal. Mawile, Bunnelby, Buizel, and I managed to get hold of Arkin a little while ago. He's up on Revelation Mountain. Oh yeah, that's right. He was he turned to stone. There. I tried to reach Swirlix, but she was too busy stuffing herself with apples to talk. Everyone's okay. It's all thanks to you, Fennegan and Blade. Thank you both so much. That's great. That's really great to hear. Back then, I... Daddy! Don't worry about us. Just get out of here, for our sakes. Back then, I couldn't save you. Oh, don't worry about that. You fought so hard for all of us after that, and that's why we can still talk together like this. So, Chief, we're all headed back to Society Headquarters now. Got it. We'll all celebrate at the Headquarters and we'll come home together. Yes, sir. We'll see you there. So the others who return to Stone should be all back to normal. Then that means Latias, Ente, the rest of them should be all fine. And everyone in the village. Even Pops. I'm so glad. Oh man, I can't hold it anymore. Aw oh man, I... I don't blame her. Neither do I. 
must have had to bottle up so many emotions to make it this far. You just take your time, child. As for the rest of you, I would say it's all time we head home. Back to Lively Town. Right. <laughs> so, Blade and the other Expedition Society members returned to Lively Town. Upon the return, they were welcomed with overwhelming congratulations and thanks. The various members who had been separated for so long were reunited at long last. With the world saved, the war over, together they shared their joy and gratitude. And several days later... Oh. What's going on? Esper, thank you. We owe you a great deal of help. That's quite alright. You gave me a place to be when I had nowhere else to go. I should be thanking you. Well, you lot be careful on your way home. And the same goes for you too, as well. Yep, thanks for giving us the time off to go visit Ampharos. Give our best to the good people of Serene Village. We will. Alright. I guess a little vacation time, huh? Yay. Then we'll be off now. <laughs> Take care. Enjoy yourselves. Thanks to the world's being at peace. And to the good offices of the Chief of the Expedition Society, of course. Very nice. Oh. Fennekin, Blade, took a bit of time off from exploring in order to return home to Serene Village. The plan had all has been for Esper to return home to the village. And although they knew the villagers were safe and things were back to normal, they still could not help but worry. And so they decided to return home for a short visit. The first time that I stood here and saw Lively Town with my own eyes, it all seemed so new and exciting. Looking at it now, that memory seems like it was a really long time ago. Thank goodness everyone returned back to normal after being turned to stone. Blade, back again, I know I said it before, but thank you for saving our world. It's a mysterious thing, isn't it? Yeah. I first heard that Blade was a human all that long time ago in the village. But to think it was actually an incredibly ancient Pokemon that called Blade to this world. Or that Blade that fought Dark Matter in, before in the ancient past. I know. I know what you mean. Yeah. And to think that, that Dark Matter was just a, an entity filled with negativity and hate. All different emotions of, of negative was all bottled into one. From different creatures in the world. I was shocked too when I heard from Celebi and Mew and all that stuff. I can't really say anything about it, but since I don't remember that time myself. Ah, that's a shame. It doesn't matter whether you remember it now or not. You did your duty, Blade. Both in the past and now again, whenever the ne world needed you most. You answered the call and came to save us from the dangers that had befallen us. You are our hero, Blade. I hope you don't ever forget that. That's right. Blade's my hero, too. So go on, Blade, show some pride. See, like this. <laughs> uh, stop, Fennekin. Just stop. I hate it when you make that face. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Esper. You too, Fennekin. Huh? But wait a sec. What is he? If I came to this world a long time ago in the past, then I must have gone back to the human world after defeating Dark Matter, right? Probably because I'd done what I came here to do. But we got rid of dark matter, and now the world is at peace again. So what's gonna happen to me? I don't know. I honestly don't I don't know either. Ugh, this is most unusual. Now that I've done my duty, what will happen to me now? I guess I'll be going back to the human world again as as properly? And leaving this place? I might have to say goodbye to everyone. Huh? Well, what is it, Blade? You're being a stick in the mud. You seem deep in thought. Is there something on your mind? Uh, nah, yeah, yeah, I have something on my mind, but it's all good. Yeah? Well, okay then, as long as you're fine. Now let's get going. I can't wait to see everybody again. Right. For valleys over mountains. Fennekin, Blade, Esper made their way back to Serene Village. And at long last... We're here! Serene Village! What do you think? Will everyone be blown away to see us back? 
Wah. Everybody, we're back. Huh? Wah. Uh. What's going on? No one's here? Everyone's gone? What could have happened? Played Fennec and Esper, welcome home! What? Oh! Hey, 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 what do you know? Whoa! Welcome home, you guys! How did you all know we were coming right now? Esper told us. But Esper, you did. <laughs> then we all decided to surprise you. <laughs> Seriously, I can't believe you left us out of the loop like that. Well, I did. It only seemed natural when Deerling first mentioned it. Even if Esper hadn't told us, though, we all knew you were coming back. Don't underestimate the power of Trekleon's information network. In any case, you've done the village proud. Then again, Blade, you both saved our world, after all. <laughs> I knew you could do it. I knew all along that it wasn't because you had a great teacher like me to guide you. Uh, I don't know. I think you might be wrong on that front, Blaze Principal. Anakin Blade, thank you. Yes, we sir do thank you. You two have really grown up to be pretty fantastic. I'm really uh, Frank, I have my doubts about you. I'm sorry for underestimating you this whole time. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you so much. Everybody. Oh, we're so glad you're all back to normal. Well, what about Mr. Nuzleaf? What? Eh? Nuzleaf? He's here? You mean, the very same Nuzleaf? He came back to this village. Yes, though, he didn't do much to announce his presence. Well, what else what I heard, anyway? Nuzleaf left. Pops! He went all around the village, apologizing to everyone good and proper. But in the end, after what Nuzleaf had done, he couldn't bear to face Blade again. And so he left not too long ago. Oh. Wow. I think that Mr. Nuzleaf was very sincere in regretting what he did. We don't hold anything against him. He was being controlled by another. After all, he's hardly to blame for his actions. I get I I guess that's true. Yeah, I suppose. Though he couldn't yet face Blade. He did say that he would be back again someday without fail. He wanted me to tell you that, Blade. Time can heal most things, even if some hurts the most insurmountable at first. Could you see fit to wait for him? Let's leave. Pops! You're really okay? I was so worried about you, you know? Yes, child. You know, when I think on it now, in all the years we've shared, I don't believe I've once told you how I'm proud of you. We may not share blood, but that's not an excuse for me not to be a better parent. So forgive me. You did good, Fennekin, and I thank you for it. Pops! Fennekin. Alright, everybody. Let's all hear it for Fennekin Blade! Yep, yep, hooray! Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Oh, yeah. And so, Fennekin and Blade were heaped with praise and thanks. Not only were the villagers thrilled to see the world at peace once again, they were also curious to know about what happened around the world. And to everyone gathered around old Karakasa's home. Every last Pokemon in the village. Wow, even the Drillbert, too, in the combi. To hear Fennekin recount the tale of their greatest adventure yet. I I don't think we need to know. No, I, th I think they can, she can explain it all in herself. And it's out of me. <laughs> the tale became more and more exciting in the telling, and thanks to everyone's good humor, and a fine time was had by all. And when the party finally broke up that night, everyone went to their separate ways, and each returning to their own home. Except for Blade, who had nowhere else to go, but the empty house Nuzleaf left. Instead, Blade stayed the night in the warm home Fennekin had grown up in. And Karakasa was all too happy to have them both home again. <sighs> Fennekin's room. It's been so long since I was last here. Alright, bed's made. Wasn't today such a blast? But now I'm exhausted. I've talked too much. Uh, I can't stay up another minute. I'm calling a night. Sleep tight. Hmm. Huh. Anakin really was that tired, huh? But it really was a fun day. Yeah, it was. But I wonder how long these times are gonna 
continue though. The happy days with Fennekin and everyone? I wonder when I'll have to leave. Can't remember what happened in the past, so I have no idea how long I was here for then. Guess I'm pretty tired too. Guess I'll sleep down on it. Oh yeah, I guess what I should really be worried about is not when I'll have to leave. What do you mean? But whether I want to or not, I love this world. I want to choose to travel between worlds and stay with Fennekin and everyone else I've met. Wow, that's nice. That's right. I don't want to leave. I want to be able to visit. I've got to try and find some way that I can stay here in this world free roamingly. There's got to be a way for me to travel between worlds. I'll start looking for it tomorrow. That's a good idea. Yeah, you shouldn't have that. <sighs> Beautiful morning. Late is still out like a log, but I feel up and ready to go. Guess I'll just go for a little walk on my own. Huh? What's that light? Looks like it landed over the hill of the big tree. Pops, Pops, you gotta look at this. Huh? Where, Fennekin's gone already? Wonder where. I wondered. Ah, oh, Blade, morning. You must have been tuckered out. You slept half the morning away already. Where's Fennekin, though? What? Fennekin? She, uh, she was planning to pop over to the hill with the big tree. The hill with the tree? That sure brings back some memories. Maybe I'll wander up there myself. Yeah, let's go. Wonder what did what did Fennekin see? I wonder. Fennekin. Oh, morning, Blade. Come over here, it feels nice under the clouds. Oh yeah. It's true. Now that I think about it, we were sitting here under the clouds just like this in our beginning days. Don't you remember? Back when we first met, you and I came to this very hill. And I told you about my dream. Yeah, I remember. This is where I gave you this scarf, too. This is where Amphros let us become Junior Expedition Society members. This is when, when we decided to leave the village and set out together. There's so many memories up here. It's true. I remember all of those times. It's no wonder, though. This is a great spot. The wind feels so nice up here. Really, really would like to stay here in this world. That's it. Hey, Fennekin? I... Yeah, I... Played. I... Yeah, wow. And more than anything else, Fennekin, I want to stay here with you. I don't ever want to have to say goodbye. I want to have to be able to travel between worlds and be able to stay with you. Thank you. Thank you, Blade. What? Fennekin? Blade... Do you know why I came up here? I saw a light falling here onto this hill. That light was actually Xerneas himself. What? Xerneas? Xerneas? When he found me here, Xerneas said that he was here to wake me. Xerneas came to wake Fennekin? How does that make sense? He said he promised me. Why would Xerneas promise me something like that? And when even? It all seemed like some weird, weird joke. But when I touched Xerneas' horns, I understood. I remembered. Blade? The truth is, actually, I'm Mew. What? I'm Mew? The very same Mew? The one who called me here? Yeah, back when Celebi told me that he thought this battle would be my battle to fight, I had somehow figured he was right. It was like something just clicked. Although I had no idea what it meant then, but once I touched Xerneas, I finally got it. In my previous life, 
I was Mew. I was just reincarnated as Fennekin. In a previous life? Blade, we met a very long time ago. Wang longer than you can even imagine. This is unexpected. When we fought, way back then in the past, we defeated Dark Matter thanks to the stars aligning just right. Or that's just what we thought, but that wasn't really true. Blade, you and Mew defeated Dark Matter using all your strength. But it's no good just to defeat Dark Matter. All the hatred inside Dark Matter rained down upon the world. So that Dark Matter would be reborn in the distant future. And it was. It's like Dark Matter told us in this battle. In other words, the last time we defeated Dark Matter, Blade, we actually failed. Mew messed up. Or rather, I messed up. So I was prepared to take responsibility. I sent my own spirit into the future to be reborn as Fennekin. Fennekin? What? You? Blade, it wasn't the Behem that made you lose all your memories. It wasn't? It wasn't. Huh? It was actually me. I, or Mew, erased your memories. It was what you agreed to before you came to this world. I agreed to having my memories erased? We made all these plans, like sealing the luminous water and all that, but I realized if we just depended on what we already knew, we'd just repeat the same mistakes and we couldn't win like that. But Dark Matter was born from negative emotions lurking within ancient Pokemon. Some of those emotions originated from Mew as well, but when I accepted Dark Matter, Dark Matter disappeared, along with the part of it that came from Mew. It was my battle I was fighting to forgive Mew. To forgive myself. That moment when I accepted Dark Matter, I set in motion my own destruction as part of Dark Matter. It's not you who has to go, Blade. It's actually me. What? No. It, this can't be. Then again. I asked Xerneas for one more favor, too. When I remembered everything, I knew I would disappear. But I wanted to at least tell you that, Blade. I had to explain. I begged him not to make me disappear before I at least got to do that, so I'm glad he kept his end of the bargain. It's a strange feeling, though. I'm Mew, but at the same time, I'm not. I'm Fennekin, too, just as you already know. But I'm not the same Mew I was back then. The part of me that Mew is filled with joy at finally having done what I was meant to do. But the part of me that is Fennekin hates that I have to give up on my dreams right when I was just getting started. And hates that I have to say goodbye to you, too. Just so you know, Blade, I really, really wanted to stay with you, too. I actually wanted to stay with you forever, like you said. But, but, oh, the light. Then again, I guess I'm out of time. Just remember that this world only keeps going because everyone supports one another. We live every day accepting one another. The one that taught me the truth is a self-centered fool like me. Is you, Blade. What? D what? Then again, I had a lot of fun. Getting to have a dream. Getting to meet you. Getting to live. Then again, Wade. Thank you. It was all because of you, Blade. No. <laughs> no. I'll be fine. Really. I'm always fine, aren't I? Just so... Do me one last favor, and don't cry. Fennekin is... No, this can't be. This, this isn't how it was supposed to end. That's why I chose to forget everything? I don't know. Did I know that this was the only way things could end? Did I have to forget to be able to go through it with it all? For the sake of the Pokemon world? And most of all, for Fennekin? Fennekin! Fennekin! No! No! This is... You, uh, I mean, why do you... I mean, this... Uh, why did we have to go through that way? This can't be the end. There has to be a way to bring her back. No. This is not how it ends, but we're going to end it off here. Hope you all enjoyed today's walkthrough. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below on what's going to happen next. Because 
This is not how it ends. It will not. We will find a way to bring her back. And be able to... And be able to... I know. Hope you all have a good night. Have a good day. Peace. Peace.